What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you my top diagnostic tools I use for diagnosing my BMWs. So the first one I think any DIYer or car guy should have is an OBD2 reader. The one I primarily use is a Bluepoint EECR1 code reader and it's a fairly basic one. It tells you uh, diagnostic trouble codes. You can erase them and scroll through all of them and also gives you this emissions readiness monitor which is right here and it gives you a green light for when your car is good and ready to pass emissions a yellow light for when there's uh, one pending like error code or one that's not, or it might be ready it might not be and red is when your car is definitely going to fail emissions so this is a very handy tool you plug it in gives you lights it's a very uh, foolproof tool I didn't start off with that though, and I started off with this code key reader. As you can see, it's very, very basic. You have a read button and an erase button, and that's all you could do. You would scroll through by pressing read, and then you would just press and hold erase for whatever you wanted for whatever code you wanted to erase. This thing was only twenty bucks, and this was my starter tool, and it has helped me for many, many years. My next tool will be Torque Pro. It's an Android only uh, application and it's about 10 bucks on the Google Play Store. What I like it is because it's a phone app so you and you always have your phone on you so you always have this app on you. And it communicates best to your car with a Bluetooth ELM327 Bluetooth OBD2 adapter. So, and I always leave that adapter plugged into the OBD2 port of my car so you will always have it ready and available. So whenever a check engine light pops up, this is going to be in your pocket. You just whip it out and you connect to your Bluetooth adapter and you will be reading your fault codes right away. As you can see, you have your fault code right here and basically you just tap it and you can read the fault codes on your car. What's also neat about it is it gives you a real-time uh, data monitoring portion on the app. So it tells you your revolutions, your battery voltage, your coolant, your air fuel ratios, and it also gives you your long-term fuel trim, short-term fuel trims, and everything like that. There are a plethora of options. You get emissions readiness monitors just like that blue point adapter, and if you wanted to add, say, another display, you could go through all of these choices. And basically, whatever torque can read from your ECO, it's going to give you the ability to select it and you can add that display. So say you want to like check out the voltage on your O2 sensor. Bam, it's right there. So again, torque is a very convenient application. It's always in your pocket. So it is one that I always reach for whenever I'm not at home. So if I'm having a trouble code that I can't quite figure out with my OBD2 reader or on the torque app, because like the P00 whatever code isn't really showing up like the right thing. I turn to my BMW factory software. So that would be INPA or DIS on my laptop. And then these plethora of cables right here. Uh, the easiest one to go to would be the USB to OBD2 cable. And... Uh, it's a 50-50 shot for me whenever I get these cables because they tend to break fairly often because they're just made in China like and the electronics aren't that good. And also because on some cars, say like my E39 M5 or E36, they don't like to communicate with the OBD2 port because they have an older 20-pin port like this. So again, these are kind of 50-50 whether or not they work, but they're very convenient. They're cheap, maybe $5 for one of these. And they can get you to where you need to go as long as it works out for you. And then you can log on to INPA, which gives you BMW chassis specific codes. So instead of being like a P00 whatever, it would be like BMW code 254 or like something like that. INPA also gives you like live monitoring. So you can also monitor your long-term and short-term fuel trims and your uh, like engine speed and stuff like that, which is very neat. If I have an older car, I turn to this, which is my BMW 20 port cable, and it connects to uh, using old technology, which is a serial adapter. Not many laptops have this, so this is why I am stuck with my trusty Dell D630. But this is my most reliable cable. 
it always works with input and it always works with DIS because the way the serial interface works, it sends just like the right amount of information to these to this software that USB cannot. However, since this is a 20 port, I also need another adapter, which is a 20 port to male US or male OBD2 connector. And this will communicate with newer cars such as the X5 or like the E70 X5 or X6. Again, this is a very like bulky system, so not my favorite, but if I have a troubling code that I can't seem to quite get with an OBD2 reader or torque, I turn to this. A new application that I've been introduced to is called Carly for BMWs. What it is is an all-in-one application that replaces Torque Pro, INPA, GIS, and your OBD2 scanners. It's an Android and iOS app that replaces the slew of connectors that you would once need using your OBD2 scanners and INPA or BMW software. The cable I use the most is the OBD2 to USB cable and connect that via a micro USB to USB A connector onto my Android tablet. I have the Carly Lite version which doesn't let me code or read diagnostic reports from all the computers but what it does let me do is see the control modules and computers and coding options that Carly can give me if I buy the full version. I was playing around with it on the X5 and there was a lot of coding options that I could see and it saw basically every con computer module that the X5 had. The best part about this app is the ease of use. INPA and DIS is not an easy uh, software to play around with because it was made for service technicians that received BMW training. However, Carly was made for people like you and me, DIY and car guys, so the menus are really easy to navigate and you can easily master this entire application. I don't have Carly as my top diagnostic tool because I just don't have that much experience with it and I'm not sure if it's going to 100% replace all the other three tools that I have listed. It is quite expensive to buy, it's a $60 tool and it's just an application, but I think I will go ahead and do it and just experiment with it and see how I can adapt to it and if I think it is the number one tool for me to use as a car guy and a home DIYer. So there you have it. A mess of all these cables plus my laptop will get you my top four diagnostic tools. Let me know what your guys' favorite tools are to diagnose your cars and subscribe and leave some comments. Tell me what I can do better. Thanks, guys.